So for me, I typically like to start off my shoulder workouts with the shoulder press, and there's so many different variations for this, but today I'm doing it on the Smith machine. And especially if you're a beginner, I really recommend doing this on the Smith machine just because it will help you with your form and make sure that you are doing it correctly. Now, as I'm doing here, you can do this kneeling. However, you can also do it seated or standing. Just make sure that your back is completely straight and you are pushing through your shoulders. Bring the bar down to your chin a little bit lower if you can. And what's great about this workout is that although it targets primarily your front delts, it is a compound movement. So you'll also be hitting your side and rear delts as well as your biceps and triceps. So this is pretty much a staple in almost any of my shoulder days. Next, we're jumping right into a superset, which is two exercises completed back to back. The first move in the superset are side raises. And for this, you wanna choose a weight that is pretty light for you because it does get heavy very quickly. To really target those shoulder muscles, you wanna keep your elbow in line with the side of your body. And you'll notice as you're doing the workout that you really don't have to lift the weights that high to feel it. And then without a break, we are going to grab a plate and do steering wheels. So for the first rep, you're going to lift the weight, twist it to the right, twist it to the left, and that is one complete rep. And then the second one, you're going to lift it twist to the left and then twist to the right and so on and so forth so for each new rep you're going to start by twisting to the side that you twisted to last in the previous rep after you've done each exercise for eight reps you can take a one to two minute break and then complete the entire superset for three complete sets <laughs> This is one of my favorite shoulder workouts. It's going to target the back of your shoulders and they are called face pulls. I'm not kidding when I say I probably do this like every single time I work out my shoulders. So I like using these ropes and you're going to stand back on an angle and use obviously the rope to help you balance and pull it to your face. Now the higher up you pull, the more you're going to be focusing on your shoulders instead of your back. Depending on how flexible you are, you can pull above your head even. Just the higher you go, the more it's gonna focus in on your shoulders. And while I definitely like to challenge myself on the weight for this move, I also try and do something that I can get about 12 to 15 reps with for four sets. To end this workout, we are doing external rotations, which are really going to focus on the side of your delts. Now, oh my gosh, guys, will this burn? It's gonna burn like crazy, but it'll also make the side of your delt and your arms look so much more toned. You wanna have the cable at about the height of your elbow and then keeping your elbow pinned to your side throughout the entire motion, you are going to reach over, grab the cable, and then pull it to the side. And similar to the side raises, you do not need to make that big of a motion in order to feel the burn. Now, if you don't have access to a cable machine, no worries, you can do this exact same move with a resistance band or a dumbbell. Hi again, guys. I really, really hope... I really hope that you enjoyed that workout. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I'll have my cleaning and not my cleaning, my workout playlist right over here. So you can go check out some more of my workout videos. Let me know in the comments some more workout videos that you'd like to see, whether in the gym, at home, what kind of body part do you want so that I can know to do those for you guys. That's my girl. That's my girl.